Photosensitivity in animals depends on a family of pigments called rhodopsins. In the human eye, light must travel through several layers of neural cells before it can be absorbed by the rhodopsin in rods and cones. Rods and cones are also called photoreceptors. The rod cell, named for its shape, is a modified neuron that does not produce action potentials, but it does release neurotransmitter from its base. Where it forms synapses with the next neurons in the visual pathway. Each rod has an outer segment packed with membranous discs. The disc membranes are stacked inside the rod cell outer membrane. In addition to rhodopsin molecules, the disc membranes carry G proteins, also called transducin, and molecules of the enzyme phosphodiesterase. The rod cell outer membrane contains a type of sodium channel that is held open by the binding of cyclic GMP molecules. The open sodium ion channels allow sodium ions to flow spontaneously from a higher sodium ion concentration outside the cell to a lower concentration inside the cell, thereby depolarizing the cell. Light sensitivity begins with the absorption of light by rhodopsin. Rhodopsin consists of a protein part called opsin and a light-absorbing part called 11 cis retinal, which is cradled in the center of the opsin and bound covalently to it. When 11 cis retinal absorbs a photon of light energy, the molecule rotates around an internal bond, straightening out, and becomes all trans retinal. The shift in retinal forces a conformation change in the opsin that signals the detection of light. The photo-excited rhodopsin activates transducin by stimulating it to release GDP and pick up GTP. Activated transducin, in turn, activates phosphodiesterase. Activated phosphodiesterase then converts cyclic GMP to GMP. The reduction in cyclic GMP inside the cell allows the sodium channels to close. Pumps in the cell membrane continuously work to drive sodium ions out of the cell, so the cell can now become more negative. The membrane hyperpolarizes. Signal transduction cascades have enormous amplification abilities. In this example, each molecule of photo-excited rhodopsin can activate several hundred transducin molecules, thus activating a large number of phosphodiesterase molecules. The catalytic capacity of phosphodiesterase is great. One molecule can hydrolyze more than 4,000 molecules of cyclic GMP per second. Thus, a single photon of light can cause a huge number of sodium channels to close. To test how a rod cell responds to light, we can penetrate a single rod cell with an electrode and record its membrane potential in the dark and in the light. In the dark. The membrane potential is around minus 35 millivolts. This value is considered depolarized, that is, relatively close to zero. In the dark, when the cell is depolarized, it continually trickles out neurotransmitter from its synaptic terminals. A brief light stimulus triggers the membrane to get more negative, that is, to hyperpolarize. As the membrane hyperpolarizes. The cell releases less neurotransmitter onto the next neurons in the visual pathway. A brighter light stimulus results in an even stronger hyperpolarization and an even greater reduction in neurotransmitter release. Note that this is the opposite of what other types of sensory receptors do. They typically depolarize and release neurotransmitters in response to a stimulus. To be a system sensitive to light changes. The signal transduction cascade needs to turn off soon after the signal has stopped. With vertebrate eyes, the retinal and the opsin separate from each other soon after light absorption, causing the molecule to lose its photosensitivity. A series of enzymatic reactions is then required to return the all trans retinal to the 11 cis isomer, which then recombines with opsin so that it once again becomes the photosensitive pigment rhodopsin. Additionally, the G protein has an automatic shutoff mechanism. After a short while, it cleaves its GTP to form GDP and thereby becomes inactive again. Without the activated G protein, the phosphodiesterase stops its activity, 
while another enzyme in the cell replenishes the supplies of cyclic GMP. The sodium channels open again, bringing the cell to its resting state.